What's up, comic and pop culture fans? This is James with Mint Hunter Comics, and I had the most epic whale of a mint hunting weekend for sure. I honestly probably could have fit it into three videos, but we're gonna cram it all into one big pile of sh for you. We're talking about dollar bin diving, ultimate grail and collection achieved, helping out a collection in Philly, delivering comic books to my friend, and so much more. Check it out. I got a lead on a collection with some gigantic keys. Hint, hint, that's the foreshadowing to the grails found later in this video. But I knew I'd need more money. So on Friday night, I went to my buddy's place to do a live Instagram sale. Sold a bunch of books in preparation for the weekend hunt. In addition, I made some trades with my buddy and was able to snag this new stand copy of Amazing Spider-Man 300, the first full appearance of Venom. Stay tuned for later in the video when I surprise my buddy with this. On Saturday, I had time to kill, so I went to the flea market, but they had nothing worth grabbing. Then I went to a yard sale where I didn't make it very far before I saw the guy was hacking up over all of his stuff. So I figured it wasn't worth it. I had time to check out another yard sale, but didn't have any luck with comics or really anything I could use around the house. They did have some sweet hockey cards, but then it dawned on me I've seen like four hockey games in my entire life. I'm probably not the right guy to pick that up. I stopped by another yard sale off the road and almost got some board games, but I decided I'd hold off. Her neighbor was set up next to her and had a lot of useful kitchenware, household items, and more, and I almost bought a couple things until I remembered I just really didn't need that stuff. I really was in it for comics. Just a mile down the road, I found another sale, this one with more board games and three times as many shoes, but no comics. You see, my local comic book shop was doing an off-site dollar bin special, so basically I was just biding time waiting for that. I got out and started driving. Ironically, on the way, I found another yard sale in which I had to stop at. And the next thing I buy that's not comics is vinyls and music-related media but I actually didn't like the price they were asking, so I had to walk. All those yard sales and no comics, but I did get this sweet Airsoft BB gun for just 10 bucks, and while I haven't played Airsoft in over 15 years, you just don't pass up cool stuff like this for that price. Head into a warehouse, gonna get our comic hunt on. This is the Phantasm Comics off-site location, not their main shop, but where he does all the inventory, all that. It. There's a big invite. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people there diving in. We'll see if we come out with some good stuff. I made it in time for doors opening at Phantasm Comics Warehouse off-site location, and I was pretty impressed. Last time I saw this place, you couldn't hardly walk through it, and now it looked like basically another comic book shop. Kudos to Greg and his team for making the best out of this place. I picked around through the dollar bins and found a lot of great stuff. We're talking books of runs that I've been trying to put together. I was able to find complete miniseries like The Sword of Adam, Falcon, Hawkeye, and plenty more. Tons and tons and tons of image number ones from the 90s, which normally I don't really pick up, but I do when they're just a dollar for sure. I found several books that actually go for over like a $50 range, including this in need of a press, Boys Issue 3, which is the first appearance of Homelander and the Seven. Funny thing is, that's not even the best pickup from these dollar bins. I also was able to find amongst several smaller keys, the first appearance of Tommy and Billy, topical as ever right now, the second appearance of freaking Sabretooth was in here, just chillin'. But most notably, I think the find of the day goes to the first appearance of Booster Gold. Not bad for dollar bin diving. I've said it on this channel before and I'll say it again, Phantasm Comics always has the best dollar bins around. Side note, I certainly didn't plan this, but the dollar bins and 50 cent bins at Phantasm lately have been so good that I randomly started taking it upon myself to begin an Iron Man collection. Check this out, this is from Saturday and also from the free comic book day sale. I've spent a total of less than $100 and I've got a massive chunk of the Iron Man run. I'll be hunting for the remainder of this run over the next few weeks, months, or years to try to get them all. Hey man, you never know what you're going to be inspired to start collecting. Okay, now back to Phantasm. Remember I said at the beginning of the video I got a lead on some gigantic keys? Well, I've been in talks with the owner of Phantasm, and we finally came to a price we'd both be comfortable at. So let's check out these massive keys I picked up while ironically at the Phantasm warehouse. He kind of took me over to the side and we chatted money and books, and we made the deal on the spot. Even with the money from the claim sale though, it's still gonna take me a week or so to fully pay these off, as you can imagine. So check out this Submariner number one book I've never owned. Check out this origin of Green Goblin. All these 
big time Spidey keys. They're a big deal. They are hard to find. This Batman's actually missing, one of the few that are missing from my Bats collection, but check this out, ASM 4, the first Sandman, one I've been on the hunt for for many years, a welcome addition to the collection, uh, second Punisher, first Tarantula, uh, a couple other one, good ones going on here, I think that's the first Kangaroo, might be wrong, first Doctor Doom in Amazing Spider-Man. And you guys know I'm a huge Daredevil fan, so obviously I was going to have to pick that up one day. Uh, Daredevil first appearance of Purple Man. Very nice. Uh, one of my favorite uh, kind of hokey uh, Justice League covers of all time, but it does have some nice key significance, of course. Which does actually include the drug issues. We'll be coming up on that in just a second. There's also one major, 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 major key I left out of this video. I'm going to save that for another video, just to show you when I actually fully buy this collection. Death of Gwen Stacy, very high grade. Uh, honestly, like a 9-0, so very nice to find that in that grade. First uh, red suit and everything. He just threw this in there for fun. A little bit more ASM here. First cameo of the Scorpion. Awesome. Mac Gargan. I think that's the first Ned Leeds, isn't it? Yeah, that's uh, pretty sweet. Never thought I'd get that one. And then just even some more for my ongoing Iron Man collection. Some good ones to have. Uh, he said he pretty much tossed these ones in um, as like a little bonus for doing the deal, which I thought was very, very generous and just further proof of how great a guy he is and how great he runs his business. And bam, first appearance of the Black Hand. Now, a couple of books weren't shown in this video, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull up the pictures I took of them. Uh, some big ones. That's right, Hulk 180, the actual first appearance of Wolverine. And you know what? There's a book even spicier than this that I picked up, but I'm not gonna show you until a week later when I actually get to pick up all of these when it's fully paid off. That's gonna be another video. All right, so my longtime buddy and best friend has been hunting for these books forever, but can never quite find good deals. And he told me if you ever find a good deal, to get them. So we are going to go and visit my buddy. We're gonna give him the death of Gwen Stacy and the first appearance of Venom. Let's go capture his reaction live, shall we? What's up, dude? Shirt, shirt. Who's James? I'm Daddy. Oh, Daddy. Here oh, you go, baby. If I didn't have a severe brain like injury right now, oh, wow. Awesome. Dude, that is just, yes. Look at that happy boy. On Sunday, I drove down to Philadelphia to help a collector sort through his comics to come up with a game plan on what to leave his kids and grandkids and what to sell. Stepping foot into his man cave, I knew right away the bulk of his value was actually less in the comics and more in these untouched, unplayed with toys and figurines he had on his ceiling, walls, and shelves. Now I'm learning the toy world slowly but surely, and even I noticed some stuff that goes for quite a pretty penny. Still though, this is an open announcement to anyone watching this video. He is looking to move these items. I'm not fully equipped to be aware of everything to fully make an offer myself, or believe me, I would. Um, if you know what this stuff is and you're interested, you can email me, message me. I can put you into contact with this dude and you can get some seriously awesome untouched toys. Total toy heaven here. As for comics, though, he definitely did have some stuff, like a full run of Secret Wars. There's that beautiful number eight right there. A couple spine ticks, but that's okay. He also had a complete run of Secret Wars 2, but also notably, he did have the 2015 Secret Wars run, which is heating up pretty significantly. And here's some other more notable books that we found. A lot of Spider-Man he had. Uh, clearly a 90s and 2000s collector for the most part. Here's some uh, Captain America number one with the iconically rough Captain America 2 cover. Here's the Pulp Fiction Hulk homage cover. Very nice. 
This Galactus book I'm finding all the time now. It's actually decently valuable. Now this first appearance of Onslaught's really cool. It does have spine ticks, but this is cooler. This is the Hebrew version. I actually, I kind of want that myself. <laughs> the Obama Wind Spawn variant. Uh, first appearance of Justice League Dark. First Pharaoh Lad. This is a uh, first Jim Shooter's work here. That's a big deal. Now he did have the full Inhumans run, so you know that is going to include our big boy coming up. The first appearance of Yelena, the new Black Widow. That is a book that's just going to soar along, especially with her being in the MCU the way she is now. I never really got into the Inhumans, and the show didn't help. <laughs> oh boy, but it was a, it was a full run. Uh, very topical. He's got the Thor 1 through 3, the uh, Jane becoming Thor, which right now, that's the time to sell it. Told him, get this gone. Some various lecture books. I think this uh, spilled in from our pile of semi-interesting books that aren't really that big. Well, <laughs> here they are. Probably the coolest find of the day, he said that he got this signed in, what, 2000 or 2002, whenever the Spider-Man movie came out. James Franco, Kirsten Dunst, Sam Raimi, I guess that's Toby up over the shoulder there. Stan Lee, yeah. I don't know what the signet, maybe that's Willem Dafoe on the other shoulder. This is, this is the coolest find of the day. Since it's not a comic book, I have no clue what this would go for, but it's a Stan signature with everybody else. That's just pretty sweet. And then he whips this out, and you guys know how much of a Nightfall fan I am. This is signed by every single person that was working on the Nightfall books, these two books. This is absolute insanity. I told him, if you ever want to sell it, I'm your dude. All in all, a very successful weekend. A lot of fun. I'll be doing it next weekend, hopefully again. As always, keep on hunting.